Welcome to Talk of the Town. I'm your host, Carrie Dillon. We are joined by our partners here from the RBC Heritage, sponsored by Boeing. It's so good to have you all here. We're talking volunteers today. Yes. Mike Manasota, Sydney Bruton, so good to have you with us. Mike, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been volunteering? Uh, well, the joke is the longer than Sydney's been alive, <laughs> but uh, I, I've been in this position about six years and then about 17 years doing other jobs prior to this. Okay, so you're the volunteer chair. That's correct. Okay, volunteer yeah. coordinator yes. here. So tell us a little bit about what keeps you coming back doing this. I mean, this is a <laughs> tournament that's been around 51 years. You right. know, it's it's amazing how so many people just stay. Tell us why you do. Uh, it's part of the fabric of the community. Yeah. Um, I enjoy giving back. It's a great opportunity to give back. As a trustee, it was a tremendous opportunity presented to me. Uh, and you always look for different ways to help the community, and this is you found your Probably niche. the best, yep. yes. You found your space. That's right. Absolutely. And so tell us a little bit about, there are so many volunteer opportunities. So tell us about some of the more interesting volunteer positions. I would probably say the ShotLink Laser. That's a great committee that you're inside the ropes and you have technology that's sending live information to the live broadcast, um, which most people don't know. That's our volunteers that are giving that no information. Idea. Had no idea. Mm -hmm. Critical. Yes, and then the hospitality ambassadors, which I would say is the face of the tournament. You know, the, when the spectators walk in, they are the first ones that everyone sees, mm -hmm. giving out the information that they need to have a wonderful time at the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. And this is ranked one of the top PGA tours. So why why do you why would you say it is? I want to hear from both of you. Uh, well, we, we do what we do, we do it well. Yeah, uh, we get a very uh, thick report card from the PGA Tour every year. We're always uh, above our peer group, which are nine tournaments, they're similar size. And we exceed uh, a lot of the PGA Tour major events as far as our hospitality, as far as our handling of the players, caddies, children, all the different categories. So much of that is based on volunteer. Oh, 100 percent. Is the volunteer uh, uh, yeah. impact, I guess you could say. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and why, now, so why do you think that the, the PGA Tour is, this is one of the best? I think it's the people. You know, we have volunteers that come back year after year, but we also have great new volunteers that are coming in. and. I think their attitude and just them wanting to help is what makes us the best. Let's talk a little bit about that, how one can become a volunteer. Because when folks come down here or they experience the tournament, it actually in inspires some people to move here, to have a second home here, and they want to be involved in this. So what's, what's the criteria? How does one become involved as a volunteer? So you register online. Um, there's a requirement of $100. And with that, you're getting your uniform. Um, you have lunch vouchers for the days that you work and you have a volunteer badge that gets you in not only when you're working but when you're if not you're not working, working yeah. right. you can come back and enjoy the tournament. Um, so when you register then we ask that you're committed to 16 hours over three to four days and you have to be 18 years or older. And there's a committee for the volunteers. Well, there's 20 different committees for yes. that. <laughs> 20 different categories. Not surprised. Right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about those committees. Oh, gosh. There's a little something for everyone. Yeah. In other words, if you want to be close to the players, you could be a marshal. If you like working with children, you could work on our uh, uh, off-campus, so to speak, uh, daycare center we have. Um, if you like to drive nice BMWs, we have that opportunity as well. Uh, but a lot of people just want to be close uh, to the action, and there's a lot of chances to do that. Yeah, absolutely. And so in terms of the, um, are, are you seeing a change in volunteers over the years, or just do you ever have to turn people away? Or? Well, certain committees are full, and yes. they're very, I mean, they fill up right away, like ShotLink mm -hmm. uh, was an example because of the... Uh, how do you choose? I mean, if somebody really wants to do that, and you have like, a, like tons of people who want to do that, what, how do you tell people they can't be there? <laughs> well. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's a very popular committee, so it fills up, but we have other opportunities that of we course. Yeah. love to have them join. And you do get three choices, so we yes. try to hit your oh, first cool. choice. Oh, cool, okay. So if mm -hmm. you get your, don't get your first choice, you'll get your second choice and third and so on. But uh, everybody pretty much gets what they want, and after they've been there one or two years, maybe they can work their way. Is there a little seniority system. kind of yes. thing? Because, I mean, you, you, you get trained. It's like really on-the-job training, I'm sure. So when you become a volunteer, do you go through a process to find out what you're going to be doing, or you have to be trained ahead? Tell us about that. Well, each committee chairman uh, does their own mm -hmm. training session. Uh, their teams, uh, people that will show you how to become a marshal and what's what's the standard, and so to speak, uh, that sort of thing. But a lot of it's on site. So when you sure. get there on Wednesday for the uh, pro am training in the shot link, for example, you go out there and actually shoot and test and make sure you understand the equipment. So there's no that's awesome. Uh, you know, you know no you questions. You asked. mitigate 
you, you mitigate the, the possibility mm -hmm. for, for big errors mm -hmm. at that point. Yeah, yes. that's wonderful. So the training and so people can become volunteers, just go onto the site. Mm -hmm. So it's time to register as a volunteer. And talk to Sydney. And yes. talk to Sydney. Make sure that, <laughs> yeah. She will take Megan. care of you. She will take care of you. Sydney, yes. wonderful to have you all here. Thanks so much for being our partners here. RBC Heritage, sponsored by Boeing. We love catching up with you guys. Time to register as a volunteer. Sign up, right? There's still time? That's yes. Right. Perfect. Thanks so much for being with us, y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be right back with more talk of the town.